Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Jack from Candy Country Reptiles. Uh, today we're going to cut clutch number eight. Um, I'm going to give you a little backstory about this clutch. Um, this is from what I've been calling my bullseye female. Um, bred back to a banana black pastel bullseye, which is her son. So this is the original mom. And I acquired her as a hatchling, I think, seven years ago at an expo. Um, and right away I dubbed her bullseye because you got all these circular spots down her back with the black spots in the middle. <clears throat> so I finally raised her up. Um, she's wrapping around the camera there, sorry. <laughs> so we raised her up and I, the first year I bred her, I bred her to a genetic stripe just to see if the pattern was passed on and I wouldn't have to worry about any other genes at play. So I bred her to a recessive male. And, um... Every baby, actually, that hatched out had this particular pattern. So I bred her. This is the third clutch I've gotten from her now, and I've produced lots of different combos that has this um, bullseye pattern on it. And I didn't realize there was another gene already called bullseye. If you look on World of Ball Python, there's actually a gene um, called World, uh, bullseye. <clears throat> looks very, very similar to this. And the only other combo on that on World of Ball Python is the pinstripe bullseye, which I produced some last year, and they look identical. So I'm not saying it's the same gene, it's just what I started calling this female seven years ago before I even realized there was another um, bullseye gene out there. But I've got lots of different combos with this gene involved, and this is actually our first shot to see if there's a super. So her finally bred her back to a son. Um, that was old enough to produce. Um, so we're going to cut the clutch and see if we get anything really, really cool or, you know, see what see what happens. So I don't really know what to expect from this clutch. Okay, so here's the clutch. We've got eight eggs. As you can see, one went bad. So we're just going to get rid of that right now because it's not going to be viable. So it leaves us with seven good ones. So... Let's see what we got. So like I said in that, you know, if you saw mom and I got lots and lots of different combos, um, I've held on to almost every single baby from this project. <clears throat> and this is our first shot at a super, or to see if there even is a super. So, um, you know, I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell even what I'm looking at in any of these eggs if there's something crazy. So. We'll have to just see if I can figure it out. And right away I can see we got banana. Definitely banana, but it's really hard to see the whole pattern on the snakes and the egg, so I can't quite tell if it's got the that bullseye pattern type thing like the original female. You know, this will be a easier to tell when we do the follow-up video but I'm just curious if we're gonna see anything that's glaringly obvious that might be a super well, that's a good start nice banana so actually the next clutch that's due to hatch after this one is I said the first year I bred that this original female to a genetic stripe well I got eggs from her daughter, which is a bullseye um, het genetic stripe. So we might actually be able to see the genetic stripe version of that that clutch. There's a... Uh, wow. That might be banana black pastel. And again, can't see enough of it to see if it has that bullseye dinker gene that we're working with on it or not. but. Two for two on bananas so far. So, can't complain about that. <clears throat> and egg number three.
Okay, this is not banana, but right away, there's, mm -hmm. you can see it clear as day. There's that bullseye pattern. Um, this might actually be the black pastel version. It looks a little black pastel-y. <laughs> but as you can see, I mean, there's that pattern that jumps right out at you. So, we'll have to see, take a closer look at some of these as they come out of the egg. Okay, clutch number, or yeah, sorry, egg number four. That, there's a little bit right here. I think this is, again, I think that's probably the same thing that was in the last egg. Maybe not black pastel on that one. This one might just be a regular bullseye. The other thing it also does is it stretches the alien heads on the side. So, I mean, there you can get a little, little look at, there's some stretched out alien heads. Um, so I'm going to say that's another one of those the bullseyes. <clears throat> okay. Egg number five. I mean, I've showed pictures to some other breeders of the original mom, and I've gotten anything from oh, that's Blitz to its Trick. Um, I've been told it's quite a few different things, but it's definitely genetic, I can tell you that much. So that is, wow. That's pretty cool. Banana. It looks really pink on the sides already. <clears throat> I mean, there's some of that bullseye pattern right there on the spine you can see right now. But I, again, I'm not saying this is, you know, I don't know if this is a super, but I mean, that color is pretty amazing right there out of that baby fresh out of the egg. Or fresh in the egg, I guess he's not out yet, but that's a pretty cool looking animal right there. Okay, we've got two eggs left. We'll save the one with the windows for last. Okay. That one I'm going to say is probably just an, a normal. Not sure if it's got that bullseye, but it's not as dark as those other other two. So those other first couple that weren't banana, I'm going to say are probably black pastel bullseye. Can't see enough of this pattern to see if there's bullseye on that or not. Um, got some speckling on the sides though, so I don't know if that might be something there or not. I mean, we'll really have to look look these eggs over, or the, look the babies over good when they come out to see if I can pick up anything that might make it a super or not. Where's the window? You said there was one. Oh, huh. There's you two. couldn't see that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. This egg has a couple windows on it. And a little funny shape, too. It's kind of funny. It's a <laughs> funny looking little egg here, but... And egg number seven is another banana. Banana something. It's really pink like that last. That last banana. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of it's a cool looking clutch for sure, and can't tell you if one of these is a super or not, but. Those last two bananas look different than the first two in the eggs that we cut. So the color's different. The, I can't see enough of the pattern, but the color's definitely different. 
could one just be a banana, like two bananas, the other one has black pastel on it? Or maybe. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen bananas that pinky right in the egg though, pink colored. But I mean, pretty cool clutch and you know, once they come out and they shut out, we do always do the follow-up video and we'll be able to see uh get a better look at them. <clears throat> and again, you know, the next clutch if this is a project you're interested in, you go ahead and contact me cuz I can't I'm getting to the point where I can't keep every baby of this project. Um I've let a few go to some people, not many, but I'm going to start letting more go this year. And like I said, the next clutch is going to be, well, hopefully we see the bullseye version. And that female is actually with an exanthic genetic stripe, so every baby will be a head exanthic too. So I'll be working on the exanthic, exanthic version of it. But um, thanks for watching. If you're interested in this, give us a shout.